my son and I, we saw Sphero online and he wanted to save up and buy a Sphero. And it was the first thing that he saved up for. We would download different apps and Macro Lab soon became a quick favorite. So I'm always looking for ways to volunteer around the community. I like working with the kids. I love Sphero, I have a lot of fun with it. So we came up with an eight week program and the kids loved it. Every kid walked out of here every day wishing it was longer and they could stay longer and play with Sphero. I like that. Our um, IT director, Jan Wee, popped in one day. She said, Sphero is here, I'm gonna bring one to you and um, I wanna see what you guys can do with it. I brought it home and shared it with my eight-year-old son and my father, who's 71, and, and we just had the best night. Immediately it started firing in my mind, okay, I'm gonna take the same approach with my students. We started rolling in January and here we are in, in April and Sphero has completely transformed our, our learning lab. It's really great when you give a kid a platform, it's not just another piece of homework. You give them a Sphero and they're like, this is really awesome. Oh. oh! So we start off with teaching kids the basics of Macro Lab. And then we start adding some more complex things. So very quickly we start incorporating some very basic programming techniques. Now you're speaking programming languages. Oh, they're doing loops on day one. But they're still having a ton of fun, so that's actually really cool. Yeah! My grandmother does a robotics team, and I always kind of laughed at that because I really didn't get the point. And then I started programming Sphero, and I really, really liked it. It's because I got up close and personal with it, and also because Sphero was a lot of fun to play with. When I thought of programming, I thought of sitting in front of a computer, typing in code. This is like a whole lot different because we're actually like applying it to real world things. Very difficult to stay interested when you type in lines and lines of code without ever really seeing a return on the investment. It allows them to get kind of an instant gratification of their work. It looks like it's dancing. They really crave hands-on learning that's authentic. It's different, it's exciting, it's not just like typing at a computer, it's like hands-on learning, you can actually interact with it. They are developing the questions that guide their learning versus me putting the questions out there. We should time it, but keep it, but keep it at 50% speed. I want to make it do the things I want to do, and then it becomes the challenge of how do I do that, and then it becomes the challenge of what else can I make it do, and that's when kids start inventing. I think that's one thing really great about Sphero, we, we try to incorporate art, we try to incorporate music, we try to incorporate spatial problems. That's how education should be, give the kids a chance to explore. It doesn't immediately flip back over using the gyroscope. It's been amazing what my students have developed for Sphero. I came up with Sphero 4. It helps like if there were to be an earthquake. We learned that if Sphero goes off at an angle, it's going to be further than if it went straight. This is like rainbow dance, this is our second idea. I think it was also a good ego boost for these kids, you know, confidence builder, to be able to successfully program something and, and not just play a game on it, but to actually make a device do something they told it to do. I mean, how often do they get to do that? It doesn't matter whether you're five years old or you're 40 years old. It affords equal opportunity for everyone. I mean, I love it just as much as he does. I, I think sometimes maybe a little more, <laughs> you know, but I mean, it, I looked forward to coming up with lesson plans and, and sitting at home, creating a macro, and saying, you know, what, what would they learn from this? It, at the very least, 3,000 milliseconds is three seconds. I was glad they learned that. When I think about robotics from when I was growing up, it's this huge ecosystem you have to buy into. Nothing was this complex and this accessible. I think that's one thing that makes Sphero so awesome. It's very, very durable and very easy to work with, and they're affordable. You think about return on the investment. <laughs> that's a tremendous value. Sphero is about possibility and curiosity, and if you offer these things to your students, you will see them grow in ways that, that you could never plan in your lesson plan. <laughs> it's really important that kids understand how to think procedurally, how to be given a problem and have a framework for solving that problem. The great thing about Sphero is it allows an avenue to that. You will forget the worksheet you did. You will forget the spelling tests. You will forget so much of what you experienced in school, but I really do think that Sphero is something that will stay in my students' minds and in their hearts as something that sparked something new for them. What kids play with today can be a huge influence on what they become tomorrow. I do, you know, computer IT work for Bank of America and you know, I firmly believe that it was because I played with an Apple IIe because a teacher brought one in for us to use that that influenced what I do today. I had one girl who felt like this was totally exciting and new to her and she couldn't wait to think about what kinds of careers she could have. Those, those kind of moments are just priceless, priceless.